en quittant. Please be seated. Veuillez prendre vos places. The court is now in session. Today we will continue to hear the testimony of the witness Steve Heather, who will be questioned by the defense teams. And uh, before we commence that proceeding, Mr. Lut Paris, could you report the attendance of the parties to today's proceeding? Nous allons entendre Lut les Paris, présences. Mr. President, Lut for Paris. today's proceeding, Monsieur all parties are present. Toutes les parties sont présentes à l'audience. It's to be noted that Nguyen Chi is present in the holy cell downstairs. Pursuant to the decision of the trial chamber concerning his health, de l'étage inférieur, conformément aux exigences de son état de santé, le est présent dans le prétoire. Merci. President, thank you. And before I hand the floor to the defense teams, the chamber would like to make the oral affirmation that we have made on the 18th April 2012 regarding the decision of the accused to exercise his right to remain silent. By motion dated 5th July 2013 and notified on Monday, 8th of July 2013, the Q Sampon defense team notified the trial chamber and the parties that the accused Q Sampon would no longer answer questions before the chamber. In response, the co-prosecutors proposed several concessions intended to facilitate the preparation of the key of some points defense for the questioning of their client. Otherwise, they requested the chamber to warn the accused Kiyos and Pawn of the legal implications of his decision to no longer answer questions before the chamber. The chamber has decided in the light of these submissions that it should recall its prior oral ruling on this issue made on 18 April 2012. And now the chamber would like to give the floor to Nunchi's defense to put the questions to the witness, Mr. Steve Heder. You may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honours. Good morning, Council. Good morning, Mr. Heder. Bonjour. Mr. President, à mes before I proceed, um, Avant I don't, of course, need an immediately, mes questions, um, but I would like to uh, uh, bring your attention to the fact that uh, the prosecution and the civil parties have been questioning uh, the witness uh, for three days minus uh, 30, 30 minutes, 35 minutes. Um, minutes. It would seem that we uh, need more time Il semblerait qu'il uh, nous faille to ask questions to this witness more than the day uh, that was allotted. Now I will do my plus very best that we will ask to stay within allouée. that day, but if um, that will be possible, I of course would like to be able to use an opportunity journée. to, le cas to uh, go into the next uh, one hour and a half of tomorrow. La, la um, I de just would like to give you advance notice of uh, that possible request which might follow at the end par, of the day. Uh, par avance.
Oui, bonjour Monsieur le Président, bonjour à l'ensemble de la Chambre et des partis. Je tenais dès à présent à indiquer qu'également du côté de la défense de Kyosampan, les deux jours alloués à l'ensemble de la défense nous apparaissent insuffisants pour traiter de l'ensemble des sujets qui ont déjà été traités dans le cadre de l'interrogatoire des coprocureurs et des partis civils. Contrairement à l'usage de la Chambre qui, jusqu'à présent avait donné un The temps égal entre euh, les, 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 les coprocureurs et partis civils et les équipes de défense euh, pour euh, M. Eder, vous aviez indiqué que nous n'avions droit qu'à deux jours. Compte tenu des développements récents de ces derniers jours et de l'extension de temps qui a été accordée à M. le procureur, vous comprendrez qu'également du côté de la défense, compte tenu de la masse de documents qui a été envisagée, nous avons également besoin de revenir sur un bon nombre de documents. Cela prend du temps. Et comme souvent l'équipe de Dieu sans temps arrive en fin de course, et souvent peut-être le moment où la patience de la Chambre est moins importante, je tenais dès à présent à vous indiquer que nous aurons nous aussi besoin pleinement et de notre journée et de une heure et demie supplémentaire à mon sens correspondant à deux jours et demi d'interrogatoire pour l'ensemble des défenses. Je tenais à faire cette précision dès maintenant pour ne prendre personne par surprise et pour préparer psychologiquement la Chambre à cette demande. Voilà. And we will see how we go, and also it's based on the nature of the relevancy of your questions to the witness. And if the chamber deems it is necessary to extend the time, we will do so. Prolonger le temps qui est imparti à la défense. You may not proceed with your questioning counsel. Vous pouvez maintenant poser vos questions. Merci. Once again, good morning, Mr. Heder. Monsieur Heder, bonjour. You've been hearing three days of questioning from the prosecution and the civil parties. Voilà, trois jours que vous entendez les questions posées par les procureurs et les parties civiles. All the questions were put to you in your capacity as a witness. Toutes ces questions vous ont été posées à vous en tant que témoin. You've heard numerous objections from the defense when the defense was asked to respond to the questions posed by the defense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez entendu à plusieurs reprises les objections de la défense. Vous avez ent
Les choses um, me semblaient... I, Approach the question in my capacity as a scholar or which may or may not be the same thing as an expert. Um, cela it's no accident that, pas, la generally speaking, I think most academics si, general, don't express themselves nor expose themselves to situations in which they pas express themselves, as it were, for the record um, in a question and answer format. Uh, um, forme de I, mean, I don't want to go into things about intellectual snobbery and all of that, but the normal mode of academic expression la forme is through published materials. De um, and there's a process by which those published materials are produced. You write something, you read it, you think that's qui a sa crazy rigueur. what I wrote. You vous revise it. Chose, you vous read it a couple dites, more times, you revise it a couple more times. Revisez. Revisez. Vous uh, you send it out to your peers who are friendly or at least whom you Ensuite, vous feel you can rely upon not to betray some confidence or qui, to uh, des you know, act in a hostile manner in your regard. They make suggestions about qui, uh, what you should maybe read additionally or think about additionally or what seems to them not to make sense. And then you send it off for publication. And at that point, it's sent around for peer review. And at that point, you might get some very hostile but anonymous commentary about your work, which you have to often have to take into account before de lecture, you publish. And then finally, after a process that may take négatif. months, if not years, depending Ensuite, on the length of the piece, with luck it sees the light of day. And at that point, it's in the public domain and it becomes the subject of academic debate. And it's that sort of that last stage, which is the, donc, as it were, adversarial part phase, si of voulez, the process. Uh, Qui and to my mind, that's the right format for an academic or a scholar bon, to express themselves. Là, dans son Not in the question and answer format to which I'm being uh, subjected or which I'm give, being given an opportunity to, la, to, to have la, la uh, in, in the court. Um, la forme so actuelle, si vous voulez, dans laquelle je me trouve en tant que témoin dans I, un I, tribunal, I would rather do it, ce n'est pas la même chose. My expert je préférerais donc, opinion, si je suis un expert et en des opinions fondées sur mon, ma connaissance du sujet, mode. si je suis and un expert, regard, je préfère exprimer mes opinions d'expert Regardless of debates about procedural issues and the actual substance of the resulting work product, uh, previous experts or people who've been considered experts, people like Craig Etchison, people like the demographers who did the demographic report, followed more or less that route. They were commissioned by somebody or another within the court to write about something. I'm sure they sat down and they drafted it and then they redrafted it and they drafted, redrafted it yet again. And then it was submitted. And um, on the basis of what was submitted, they were then questioned. And that seems to me to be a better way of soliciting an expert opinion. Et cela me um, être une meilleure manière that takes me to, sorry, taking time, it takes me to my second point. Uh, that, that process obviously point. takes time. In other words, if I was going to do something like that, I would have wanted to have been, had several months at least to prepare my report. I wasn't asked to prepare a report uh, for whatever reason. Um, if I were to be asked to, to, to prepare a report, as I said, it would take me probably several, several months in my mind to do it right. And that takes me to my third point which is sometime around the end of 2011, I decided that I no longer wanted to have all of my intellectual and other energies focused on the Khmer Rouge. You know, when I first started looking at the Khmer Rouge in 1973, it was current events. I've always been interested in current events. I'm a political scientist. I taught the whole of Southeast Asia. And while you all, or most of you all, were undergoing the steep learning curve about the Khmer Rouge and power, I felt myself being de-skilled in terms of the rest of my interests and qualifications. 
So at the, at the, around the end of 2011, I decided um, no more Khmer Rouge for now, and if I may be allowed to say so, decided no more Khmer Rouge tribunal forever. Um, and that was because I wanted to concentrate on other things. And if you look at my recent proper academic publications, none of them are about the Khmer Rouge anymore. They're all about contemporary Southeast Asia. Des politiques um, de la so, for those reasons, all combined cela, together, sujet actuel de I, Donc, as I put it in my email, respectfully declined to be an expert. C'est pour toutes ces raisons-là que j'ai décliné, fort respectueusement, de comparaître en tant qu'expert. Merci de cette longue réponse, Monsieur Heder. The very first sentence, or one of the very first sentences uh, of your reply, um, when réponse, Judge Marcel Lamonde told you Marcel that you are not an expert, but that he is the expert, moi do you remember if he um, gave any arguments vous a donné supporting une argumentation à that position? De ce propos? Um, yes. Oui. I mean, at, at, maybe not at the deepest level, euh, pas un niveau but at profond, the level of disons. explaining that, in his view, it wasn't appropriate for someone euh, who was an investigator, researcher, analyst inside the Office of the Co-Investigating Judges to also, at the same time, be an expert. And he didn't... Uh, at the time, nor subsequently, to my recollection, ever, as it were, cite chapter and verse from his legal tradition uh, to back up that explanation, semi-explanation, with a reasoned legal judgment, if you will. Uh, but he was very strongly of that view. I mean, Robert Mais Petit also said, once said something Petit somewhat similar to me, which is, I'm the prosecutor and you're not. Um, so, you know, this was a, 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 a view that had a certain currency in those two, two contexts. Um, I don't know, you know so, so, and, and again, I'm, I'm, I'm not a lawyer, I'm not in a position courant. to judge these issues, bon, pas but if I may, one more. Point. La matière. Mais je, I mean, I, I, thought about, I thought a lot about what's been going on back and forth between yourself and prosecution and civil parties vous, les les um, and tried to think about it in academic terms. Et essayé um, en tant que and it seems to me there are two ends of a spectrum ici, here. Uh, les deux bouts, One les deux end of the spectrum is what you all, or some of you all, seem to call a witness. Il y a ce que pour vous and the tous, other end of the spectrum is something that you or you all seem to call uh, an expert. Et à bout um, du spectre, and to, to use an analogy, if somebody were to ask me, uh, what time did the sun come up this morning? Bon, si on me demande à quelle heure le soleil s'est levé ce matin. President, Mr. Witness. Monsieur le témoin. Please uh, direct your response Voyez, only to the facts uh, vous contentez de répondre before this chamber and also the counsel you advise to put the questions related to the facts determined by the chamber to be heard before vous this interroge chamber and les try to use uh, the time location for your team effectively. À de cette and please try to Et avoid the, the teacher's uh, nature of the questions. We only want to hear the facts so that we would Nous use it as the basis for our decision. Vos réponses concernant les faits, afin que nous and puissions for that reason, please direct your questions to the related facts. Bien Thank you. Donc, s'il vous plaît, uh, veuillez répondre de façon factuelle. Allow me, Mr. President, and one more question in this respect. Um, Professor Chandler, who wrote a preface to your book Professor Chandler, on communism, votre livre sur le communisme, um, did appear in this courtroom as an expert. My a question to you was the fact that he did appear as an expert a consideration in your decision que ce fait -là a éclairé votre not to come propre décision as an expert, but rather as a witness? déposé en tant qu'expert, mais en tant que simple témoin. 
Le président, votre question n'est pas pertinente. Monsieur le témoin, veuillez ne pas répondre. Monsieur le conseil, je vous rappelle qu'il est nécessaire de poser des questions pertinentes. La défense. Pourquoi est-ce que je pose cette question, Monsieur le Président Parce que cela va directement au cœur de la question de savoir quelle est la crédibilité de ce témoin. Et étant donné les questions posées précédemment par les procureurs, ce n'est que, ce ne serait que, que, que justice. Reposez la question d'une autre manière. Monsieur Heder, étant donné toute votre recherche, tous les entretiens que vous avez menés, tous les articles, toute la littérature que vous avez lue et que vous avez vous-même produite, le professeur Chandler est-il l'un des experts les plus euh, en pointe concernant les le, le, le computer démocratique. Le président. Le procureur, vous avez la parole. Uh, Mr. President, I, I object to this question. Uh, what it really amounts to is what's your opinion of or what's the received opinion of Professor Chandler? If my learned friend wants to quote from a particular part Chandler, of one of Mr. Heather's books, souhaite, uh, referencing uh, this question ou tel or referencing livre de Professor Heather Chandler, there are in fact many references in de Mr. Heather's books to Professor Chandler, uh, if it's a direct question Alors, to a direct extract direct from one of Mr. Heather's books, I have no objection, but otherwise this is an Sinon, opinion question seeking an opinion answer. Question fondée sur une opinion qui recherche une réponse également tendancieuse um, Mr. Heather, ou orientée. In la Your book on communism, there is Monsieur a Heder, forward dans votre livre of, um, Professor Chandler. Il y a une préface de Monsieur Chandler. Um, can you describe for us Pouvez-vous why it was he who nous dire wrote a forward to your book? C'est lui qui a écrit une préface à votre ouvrage. Um, I réponse. think I can do this not by citing my own opinion, but by referring to the opinion of other scholars and particularly historians of Southeast Asia, uh, with whom I've obviously had much contact over now many, too many decades as far as my age is concerned. Um, I mean, anybody who is, has been a historian of Southeast Asia, particularly writing in English or French, pour ce qui est des uh, considers David Chandler the doyen of région, modern Cambodian historical works. David Chandler comme étant le doyen uh, so, uh, any, any, anyone would suggest that if you want your work to have credibility in the community of historians si of Southeast Asia, it is a good thing to have an endorsement uh, uh, from David Chandler. Ce serait tout de même très souhaitable d'avoir l'aval de David Chandler. In the publications that you have read, Dans les publications um, que vous avez lues about Professor ben um, concernant le professeur Ben Kiernan, diriez-vous la même chose Chandler? que ce que vous venez de dire concernant le professeur Chandler um, No, certainly Réponse. not non. in the scholarly, Certainement pas. the parts of the scholar, en tout scholarly cas, community in which I normally travel. Uh, there may be other parts of that community il y a by its very nature de cette it is intellectually split and bien full entendu, of contestation, uh, where the view might be different, but certainly in my circles, which may be a reflection and part of my own view, il y a mon propre like, cercle. like, like, euh, um, là aussi, je veux dire qu'ils se ressemblent, s'assemblent. Uh, et donc, les opinions euh, des uns et des autres dans mon cercle à moi correct, ne sont I pas aussi euh, bonnes concernant M. Kiernan. Um, Kiernan Est-il correct de dire que dans vos propres publications, vous avez abondamment critiqué euh, Ben Kiernan 
contradictoire euh, de, de l'exercice intellectuel you know, uh, entre académiques, entre chercheurs. Ben Question. Avez-vous lu toutes les publications de Ben Keenan um, Réponse. Without being churlish, I think I can say he tends to be even more long-winded than me. Tente à uh, I can't être say that I've read every page of everything he's je ne, ever je written, but I certainly malice. read I think every page Et cela of étant posé, je pense que j'ai lu tout, Cambodia. absolument tout jusqu'au jusqu dernier paragraphe de ce qu'il a écrit sur le Cambodge. Now let me, if you allow me, go back again to um, yourself. Pour en revenir um, à vous-même, Kiernan et Chandler um, sont tous les deux um, des professeurs. You do not seem vous to have même that title. ne Would semblez pas avoir acquis ce titre. Pourriez-vous expliquer comment il se fait que vous n'êtes pas un professeur de sciences politiques ou d'histoire politique President, witness, please wait. The prosecution, you may proceed. Attendez, s'il vous plaît, Monsieur le Président. I object, Mr. President, on the sole ground of relevance. Monsieur le Président, what relevance does this have? J'ai une objection en pour la seule raison de la pertinence. Only evidence that is relevant is admissible. Quelle est la pertinence de ces questions? In my submission, this is irrelevant. Par rapport au fait, à mon sens, cette question n'est pas pertinente. In my reply, Mr. President, this is a relevant question. It goes directly to the person of this witness. C'est tout à fait pertinent parce que cela concerne la personne même qui est devant nous en tant que témoin. President, the objection and ground by the prosecution is valid. Does the statement your question is valid? Is not. Relevant and the witness should not respond to the last question. Put to you by the defense counsel. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. Have you seen, recently watched a movie called "A Day at Pochray"? No. Réponse, non. Would you be able, based on your research or de vos recherches, academic work, de votre travail, be able to say something about the co-producers or co-directors of that movie, Ted Sambat and Rob Lemkin? Co-réalisateurs de ce film, à savoir Ted Sambat et Rob Lemkin. Réponse. Not a lot. I mean, Pas grand chose. I think I may have very briefly met Je pense avoir both of them somewhere along the line. I can't say I've ever had an extensive dire or serious conversation with either of them. Avec ou um, eux. I've l watched the first film, vu le premier film that they produced. But not paid great attention to it, frankly. Um, there are some other films that were produced around the same time that I looked at, I think, more carefully. There was a BBC production, and also an interview with Nguyen Thia that I had more involvement with. Um, but without, you know, without the equivalent of the document before me. I'm not sure how much I can say. Si je n'ai pas sous les yeux le document, je ne pense pas pouvoir dire grand chose là-dessus. Une autre question sur un chercheur. Il s'agit de votre publication. Racisme et marxisme de Pol Pot Regime de Ben Kierman. English ERN 0077 3700, French 0082 800, Khmer 0084. President, 
Council with the Coupe, uh, Cody, please repeat the document ID and the EN page again. Thank you. And please make it a bit uh, slower. En ralentissant. It is document E131 slash 1 slash 13.3 English ERN 0077-3700 en anglais 0077-3700-0080-0080-0080-0080-0080-0080-0080-0080-0080-0080-0080-0080-0080-0080-0080-0080-0080-0080-0080-0080-0080-0080-0080-0080-0080-0080-0080-0080-0080-0080-0080-0
like MedTech was by serving military officers. I think there are sometimes some civilian analysts also attached to those officers. I'm not sure about that. So um, I had contact with some of those people, in, either in MedTech or in the Defense Attaché's office or in the Defense Intelligence office, um, with whom I discussed the military situation um, and from whom, on occasion, I got a document or two. J'ai obtenu de ces um, gens un If you're going to ask me who those people were, si vous me demandez qui étaient ces gens, off the top of my head, I frankly don't point, remember sincèrement, je ne me the names. Souviens pas de leur nom. I could try and find out, take a bit of time, retrouver, ça prendra un peu um, de temps. but that doesn't stick in my memory, Mais nor in the same way that the name of the Japanese military attaché doesn't stick in my memory tout comme either. Je pas retenu le nom de l'attaché militaire japonais. Now, if I understand your earlier testimony si correctly, you had arrived uh, in 1973 uh, in, in Cambodia. You worked as a journalist. Um, would you be able to compare yourself to other journalists then in terms of your access to uh, these military, US military attaches? Was that something, if you remember, had um, more in terms of contact than the other journalists? Have you plus de contact with these gens que les autres journalists? Um, I would say it was about average. Je dirais que um, mes contacts étaient dans la moyenne. I think you know some of the more senior correspondents who had much more experience and much better developed and established contacts uh, in the U.S. government realm probably had much better access than I did. I think there were some who maybe didn't cultivate these particular kinds of sources to the extent that I did, and therefore had fewer contacts. But I don't. I don't. I certainly didn't have special access. Nor was I, for some reason or another, excluded or self-excluded from contact with that part of the U.S. official establishment. Do you remember the time interacting? At the time, do you remember talking, whatever, with a fellow journalist called Sidney Schanberg? With another journalist called Sidney Schanberg. Um, yeah, as you know, Sidney wasn't full-time resident in Phnom Penh. He came and went. Um, I had some contact, but I wouldn't say a lot with Sidney. So you wouldn't be able to tell from your memory if he had substantial contacts or the same kind of contacts that you had with U.S. military attaches. Uh, no, the relationship between myself and Sydney was not such that that was the kind of information we shared. Vu la relation que j'avais avec Sydney, nous ne partageons pas ce type d'information. Um, in those Question. years, and maybe also afterwards, uh, années, uh, Mr. Hedda, were you suite, ever in whatever way Avez-vous jamais, uh, employed as an une autre, US intelligence été employé comme agent des renseignements américains uh, the short answer is réponse. No. Ma réponse courte, c'est non. And the long answer? Question et la réponse longue. Uh, the la long réponse, answer la réponse longue. is that in the period between 1979 and 1984, um, uh, I, I periodically had research funding from something called the Office of External Research of the Bureau of Intelligence and Research of the U.S. Department of State. Um, and that was on the basis of a contract, um, which uh, at one point, I understood meant that I'd Et been employed by 
the Department of State. But subsequently, I, as a result of some tax matters, in, in my payment of taxes in the U.S. and the U.K., and having to sort that out uh, in terms of my income and salary and so on, it, it's now clear to me that that shouldn't be understood as employment. Um, it was grant money funding, Il not salary. Sous um, la forme de bourse et non pas de it salaire. was um, research um, as an expert, de de as it happens, en qualité uh, not employment. Et non so, pas emploi um, à parler. although it, it, and it's, it's like the same, it's the same kind of situation that I described with regard to my other research funding. The money comes to your academic institution or through your academic institution, and the, then you are paid Après through that route. So it's uh, income, but it's not salary. It's grant, but salaire, it's not employment. Bourse, and the other point that probably is worth making is that it's ailleurs, research intelligence gathering, intelligence analysis in the public domain. In other words, both the sources and the work product public, are in the public domain, domain, and therefore public. it's not covert operations. So in that sense, the U.S. government is one of the three governments from which I've received funding over the years. I mentioned, I think, in earlier testimony, the British government for some of the research that I did at DC CAM. Um, and I was also uh, employed in that sense, but in fact not employment, had grant money um, by the Thai government, Thai National Commission for UNESCO at one point. Bourse so par the technical la answer is no. Nationale pour Donc la réponse technique c'est non. Um, did you question um, ever in sometime in 2003? En 2003. Um, submit a book proposal under a working title Genocide and autogenocide in Cambodia, Genocide et communism, autogenocide nationalism au Cambodge, and murder, 1975-1978, I submitted a number Réponse. of book proposals in that period. I can't be absolutely sure that that's one of them, but it might well be. Did you, when you Question. made Possibly this book proposal. Quand vous avez um, proposé ce livre pour publication, an accompanying remark saying that you researched the CPK for 30 years as a journalist, uh, and also as an intelligence officer, quote et en tant qu'agent du renseignement, pour vous citer. The normal formulation I used was intelligence général, analyst because that was the rubric under which the grant was uh, made. Intelligence um, gathering and intelligence analysis. Uh, to my recollection, the grant rubric was not intelligence officer, but I may have glossed it in that document. Um, I think another point that's worth making in that in this context um, is that that. Office of External Research, of Bureau, Bureau of Intelligence and Research, of U.S. Department of State grant money recherche, uh, was to do research not on the CPK while it was in power, that is to say not on the period uh, uh, f uh, of the temporal jurisdiction of, of the court, but on the post-79 period. And in fact, it was part of a larger study that looked at the global situation in Cambodia after 1979. And again, all the results are, are, are were, were either published or circulated as academic papers. Do you um, know a book from un livre, uh, Keenan, ben Keenan, ben Keenan, called Bringing the Khmer Rouge to Justice? Bringing the Khmer Rouge to Justice. Traduire les Khmer Rouge en justice. Or rather a chapter in the book, Bringing the Khmer Rouge un chapitre to Justice. De ce livre intitulé de cette façon. Uh, that one doesn't ring an immediate bell. If I could see it again, if I can see the publication, I might recognize it. Um, uh, Mr. President, we'd, we'd also like some clarification, please. Which chapter from which book? Avoir des précisions de quel chapitre, de quel livre s'agit-il? 
I'm referring to uh, document D269-5.1. D269-5.1. Footnote. Page 225, um, note de bas de page. Respect of footnote 16. 16. Um, Mr. Weather, Mr. Hedder, are you, um, La Défense? Monsieur Heder. The President. Uh, Council, please, uh, hold on. Judge uh, Cartwright, you may proceed. Thank you, President. Just a technical matter, Mr. Corpy. Uh, this book has a D number. Um, has it been put before the Chamber, please? And what is its title? It's uh, before the Chamber. It is um, trying to decipher the ERN number. There's a black, um, black Mark through it. Yes, I think it's zero zero four zero zero four eight nine six six zero. It is an official D, uh, D number attached to it. It is on the Une cote en case D file. A été attribué. Le document a été versé au dossier. Uh, here I have the, the, the proper ERN number. It's zero zero four eight eight three six zero. But has it been put before the Chamber, and what is its title, please? Its title is uh, Ben Keen and Genocide and Resistance in Southeast Asia, and it's only in English. Un livre qui has it been put before the Chamber? The judge, has it been put before the Chamber? I have to get back to you on that without answer. Uh, in that case, could you move to something different in the meantime, please? I will, I will um, rephrase my question in more general terms. Uh, Mr. Heder, are you aware that um, Ben Keenan qualifies you as an intelligence officer? You define you as an agent of enseignement. Um, I don't recall specifically having noted that, but it may avoir well be. Constaté, mais le cas. And on the basis of the same confusion about the exact Et nature of the relationship between myself and INR, which, as I explained, is a confusion about whether the contractual arrangement actually made me an employee Autrement dit, il faut voir si du point de vue du contrat, j'ai été considéré comme un employé du gouvernement américain. La réponse, c'est non. Tout comme le financement que j'ai reçu de l'ambassade britannique à Phnom Penh ne me considérait pas comme un employé du gouvernement britannique. Même chose pour le financement de la commission thaïlandaise rattachée à l'UNESCO. Je n'en étais pas pour autant employé du gouvernement thaïlandais. Mon titre exact est un peu plus hazier. Comme je l'ai dit, avec regard à l'INR work, the rubric and the contract, as I recall it, was intelligence gathering and intelligence analysis. Um, and one could summarize that as, yes, as intelligence officer. Et on pourrait peut-être résumer cela en disant que j'étais un agent du renseignement. An answer that you gave to questions from the prosecution last week in the very beginning. You testified that you applied for a position at the UNAKR position with the Office of the Investigating Judges, and that after you received that position, almost immediately, some time in 2006, you were detached at the request of Prosecutor to work. Était um, as an analyst, envoyé researcher, or whatever for the prosecution. Que Did I summarize it correctly, your answer? Pour le bureau des coprocureurs, ai-je bien résumé votre um, réponse? Yes. Réponse, oui. When you were given question on loan, so to speak, quand vous avez été uh, en quelque sorte prêté à l'accusation, uh, was it clear to you that after a while you would go back 
Est-ce que, pour vous, il était clair qu'après un certain temps, vous retourneriez au BCJI um, Réponse. It was certainly clear to Judge Lamont. C'était assurément clair pour le juge um, Le Monde. I think maybe Prosecutor Petit had different que le plans or hopes, Petit avait and I was caught d'autres caught somewhere in between those two J'étais perceptions or persons. Pris, tiraillé entre les deux. Do you remember? Question. Um, in specific in the light of this specific decision contenu uh, anything from judge Lamond in terms of vous um, souvenez-vous uh, the possibility le of a dit, le juge of interest le monde concernant un possible conflit d'intérêts uh, une fois que vous retourneriez au BCJ um, réponse if i recall correctly si his view bon, was that Son the Anglo-Saxons might think that way, but of course they would be wrong. Do you remember if he Question. gave any arguments to back up this um, position? Ce point de vue? Um, frankly, Judge Lamont wasn't prone to explain his managerial decisions to his staff with extensive legal reasoning. De gestion. Il n'était pas enclin à présenter tout un argumentaire. When you were working Question. Uh, for the prosecution Alors que vous travailliez pour l'accusation en 2006, did you Avant make de recommendations chez les to the avez-vous fait um, des recommandations about, for instance, whom to interview? aux procureurs concernant par exemple les personnes à entendre Resident, uh, Témoin, witness please, uh, hold on, Mr. Prosecutor, you may proceed. Uh, I, I only uh, object at this stage. I have not objected to the previous Je questions. There have been a variety of decisions about the extent of questioning um, in terms of other phases of the um, trial process. I have before me a decision from the 7th of December 2012. Um, the ECC legal framework does not envisage examination by the trial chamber of the procedural correctness of the judicial investigation upon being seized of the case file. Uh, it seems to me we are veering into that territory. I'll of course be guided, given what Judge Cartwright said uh, on day one of the examination of Mr. Hedder. But in my respectful submission, we're getting into the sort of territory that uh, Her Honour Judge Cartwright was cautioning against. But I'm, of course, in the court's hands, but it seems to me we are in that territory, and for that reason I object. If I may reply, uh, Mr. President, I know I'm aware of your ruling on this issue. It's not my intention to... Go into Je n'ai pas l'intention as to d'entrer dans le détail au sujet du travail et des activités de ce témoin à l'époque où il était employé par l'accusation. Je n'ai que quelques questions générales à poser. Sort of the general terms of his work there. So I will not go into any specifics in respect of names of witnesses or just some general questions as to be able to understand the things that he has done in general terms once again when he was working with the prosecution. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
the president, the objection and grounds for objection by the prosecutor uh, against the uh, last question put by the defense team for Mr. Nguyen Chia is uh, sustained. It is uh, well grounded. And the chamber wishes to advise uh, the parties that the issue of uh, procedural um, conflict uh, it has been addressed by the pre-trial chamber La chambre de première as far as for this reason uh, the de council de is advised uh, to put substantive uh, question in order to ascertain the truth uh, in these proceedings de à une autre you may question proceed pour la manifestation de la vérité. then my question to you Mr. President would it at least be possible to Voici donc um, ma question, Monsieur le Président. For the record, ha uh, have me pronounced the four or five questions that I have, je peux assuming les uh, that questions you will not allow me, uh, or not allow the witness to answer them, but just for the record, uh, these répondre. questions are known to you. J'aimerais que ces questions soient officiellement connues des juges. The president. Le président. The chamber has already ruled uh, on this La issue that uh, the objection by the prosecutor is well grounded de and the witness is directed not, not to respond uh, to répondre. this question and the uh, council is now directed uh, to put substantive question uh, to the witness so that it is conducive uh, for the chamber uh, to ascertain the truth and this will contribute uh, to uh, the uh, interest of the proceedings before us. Um, I'm just trying, Mr. President, to distinguish Monsieur the many hats of this witness. Uh, simplement um, à, à départager les différentes casquettes que uh, porte uh, notre témoin. Acquiesced uh, in the various uh, roles de, uh, that he fulfilled uh, in his life. Les catégories de um, connaissances et de savoir dans les différents rôles qu'il a rempli au cours de sa um, vie professionnelle. With the Office of the Investigating Judges. De votre, uh, poste Did auprès um, des co -juges Judge Le Monde ever, que ever le ask you Le Monde vous a uh, only to seek for inculpatory evidence rather than excluding the evidence? President, uh, witness, Président, please hold on. The témoin, prosecutor, you may attendez. proceed. Procureur same objection, Marais. same grounds. Objection, Monsieur le Président, pour les mêmes raisons qu'avant. President. Le Président. If the council does not have anything to respond, then the chamber rule that the objection La is ground by the prosecution is sustained. De retenir Witness, you are directed not to respond to the last question put to you by the defense council. Then I will ask the question again, and I think I have to, I'm entitled to ask that question. Le droit de poser ma question um, me semble Mr. Witness, did Monsieur le témoin, est-ce que le juge Le Monde vous aurait demandé de ne recueillir que des données à charge, à l'exclusion des données à décharge. Et I think this is a very je voudrais, euh, pr par, euh, par effet de préemption, dire que cette Already question est tout à fait pertinente. Le procureur, même objection, même cause d'objection, et je euh, la répète, mon objection. President, the chamber already ruled that la the witness a directed not to respond to that question. De demander aux témoins de ne pas répondre à cette question. Mr. Heder, I will move on. Monsieur Heder, um, je passe à la suite. It is still related to that phase in 2006, but more in terms of, of your material. You have testified earlier that you were in 2006, in 2006 dit, et par la suite peut être aussi, of, um, vous avez dit donc être en possession de um, CPK matériaux originaux Material, du PCK, such as the revolutionary par exemple, flag, le drapeau révolutionnaire, um, telegrams or other, um, des télégrammes, um, des documents donc uh, originaux. Pourriez-vous nous dire, when you got the position, 
in 2006 Lorsque with the tribunal. En 2006, vous avez uh, été if you au tribunal, that you indeed handed over all est-ce que vous avez remis l'ensemble de votre stock de documents judge? originaux au juge d'instruction um, Réponse. They were offered in their entirety, but Ces documents they ont été offerts dans leur intégralité, taken. mais ce n'est pas l'intégralité de ces uh, documents qui aura été retenue. Um, J'ai offert l'ensemble. Uh, on a pas voulu d'une bonne partie de More cet ensemble. Question. En particulier, avez-vous à faire des, des originaux of revolutionary flags. du Do drapeau révolutionnaire Avez-vous le souvenir bien précis um, d'avoir offert et remis ces documents-là au juge, qu'au juge d'instruction Yes. Réponse oui. Do you have any knowledge Question. as to where these uh, original revolutionary flags are? Où se trouve now? maintenant ces originaux du drapeau révolutionnaire? Ces, ces originaux là que vous avez remis au tribunal. No, I, I didn't give them. I offered them. Réponse. They were declined. So I Je I, les ai I, offerts. They're the same ones that ended up pas été later in the possession of the court. So these documents, among et donc, ils n'ont pas été donnés. Ces documents, uh, offered, entre autres, ont fait partie declined. du stock que j'offrais, um, qui so n'a pas I été retenu par la Cour. Et donc, j'ai ramené tout cela à Londres. Et lorsque, them, finalement, la Cour les a demandés, c'est à ce moment-là que je les ai fournis. Um, the parce que I'm la Chambre de première instance a répondu. Question. question. Pourquoi est-ce que je pose um, cette question Je dois préciser pourquoi. Our client, Notre Nunchia, client, Nunchia, would really like to see, as to aimerait to have in his hands, beaucoup avoir en main l'original de l'un des as an, as a scholar, numéros du drapeau révolutionnaire. Vous, en tant que chercheur um, universitaire qui avait fait des recherches approfondies sur cette période, pouvez-vous nous dire comment une, un original d'un numéro du drapeau um, révolutionnaire could be placed here, pourrait être so to speak, not literally of course but here in the middle so that he can see ici, uh, the authenticity uh, of judge authenticity physiquement si vous voulez pour que l'on puisse juger de l'authenticité de la just pièce just in terms of general procedure en termes de procédure générale étant donné votre expérience et votre savoir comment avoir un original d'un numéro du drapeau révolutionnaire. Le président, monsieur le témoin, euh, un instant, le procureur. Mr. President, I can't see how it's appropriate to ask Mr. Heder how this could, how could this could be shown. La pertinence Two de documents were shown Heder yesterday in red. Euh, de They're on the case cela. file. Deux I gave documents the file ont été numbers. montrés hier. I Ils sont au dossier. On a les codes de la Cour de Leur authenticité n'est pas en question. Les codes de la Cour de Cassation sont sur notre with a case number. Why are we asking how does Nunchia access it? Rouges, Press a button rouges. on the computer and Alors, it comes up on the screen. Je ne What's comprends the pas la requête de Nunchia ici. Il suffit d'appuyer sur un bouton et ça monte ça vient à l'écran. I'm just trying to um, la défense. Monsieur le Président, je cherche à faire comprendre la uh, toile de fond de ma question. Ma question je vais la reformuler. Monsieur le témoin, pourriez-vous nous expliquer comment, dans votre recherche, dans vos travaux d'écriture universitaire, comment vous êtes entré en possession de ces originaux du drapeau révolutionnaire um, Réponse. As I think I explained, um, Je pense euh, l'avoir déjà expliqué. When I came to the Dulslang Genocide Museum, which I did first in late 1980, 
And then again in 1981, but I believe all of this happened on the first occasion. I was shown by the then archivist a collection of revolutionary flags, revolutionary flags, revolutionary youth, and some other evidently original CPK documents um, and in the situation uh, where there was no photocopy PCK. facility available, um, they decided to give me originals on a, on a donc from that collection of which there were other originals. Uh, qui so en they gave me multiples. those originals, on a donc donné and then in 1981, numerous visits to the Tulsa Museum, um, Musée de Tulsa. I made photocopies once photocopies were a technical possibility of all the other Techniquement, revolutionary flags, drop flags, and revolutionary flags uh, that they have in their possession. I'm trying to think whether there are, uh, there are some, certain, some photocopies in my files Il y a des dans which mes dossiers came off of revolutionary flag flags or revolutionary youth that are in the possession of DC CAM. I don't specifically recall whether those are photocopies of originals or photocopies of photocopies. The upshot of all of this is that in addition to the ones that I eventually having previously offered them and then been told they weren't needed, Having eventually been asked parce by the trial chamber to provide the two, I take it, missing uh, originals, I provided those two. I am pretty sure that I didn't get rid of the other originals in my possession somewhere along the line, so they're probably somewhere in those 45 filing cabinets of paper materials that I have on various aspects of Cambodian politics, including the Khmer Rouge. So if there are missing editions, in theory, with sufficient time, I might be able to find them. Euh, je pourrais aller à la and recherche de ces pièces si on me en donne le temps. Question. La dernière fois que um, vous aviez en main like des flags, objets physiques de type drapeau uh, révolutionnaire you know, ou with, uh, documents de confession avec les annotations alléguées de Nunchia, quelle est la dernière fois que, d'après votre souvenir, La dernière fois que vous avez eu en main de tels um, documents originaux. Well, réponse. Would have brought them with euh, me to Cambodia in the middle of 2006. Au milieu de 2006. Um, I recall the presumption having been at the office of the co-prosecutors that co other originals were available in other locations, and therefore they would be obtained lieux, from other locations. Uh, when I first sources, went to office of the co-prosecutors, um, co I offered these documents. They were declined. Uh, when the introductory submission came, um, le temps du in the middle of 2007, is it July 2007, 2007 the introductory juillet, submission, avec le they were collectif. offered again and again Ces declined. Ont de été so offert I offert probably moi, brought them back to London nouveau, maybe around Christmas of 2007, the Londres, next time I went to London. I don't Noël remember 2007. exactly when, but most likely exact, sometime in the latter part of 2007, I packed up all the stuff that I had brought that hadn't been cela, taken or copied either by prosecution or the Office of the Co-Investigating Judges co and took it home and put it back in the filing cabinet. Ramené, uh, you've you've pour, testified uh, uh, and also uh, written that you have extensively question. studied uh, S21 confessions. Um, a very concrete question. question Do you know on the basis of your research and uh, your academic writing where exactly um, the S21 confessions with les the elect S21 um, avec les annotations signature of Nunchia, where they are, Nunchia, where they are physically situated. Se trouve physiquement où? Um, 
I think the answer to that is no, because uh, I'll back up to your earlier non. question. Among all those documents, there Parmi are very, very, very few my doc documents in my possession. Les en there ma are possession. very, very, very few that are original S21 materials. Um, the archivists weren't happy to leave any of that stuff leave the building on a couple of occasions when there were like seven or eight carbon copies. They gave me leur one of the carbon dans copies. Certains cas, lorsqu'il y avait des um, Renéo, la septième ou huitième copie renéotée, on voulait bien me remettre une septième ou huitième copie. Mais les originaux des aveux, so euh, je n'ai pas d'originaux. Um, pour ce qui est des aveux à S21, or, soit, uh, 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 or, I, I don't know where the originals are, vu, um, and and je ne sais pas I've only seen a very few of Other than that, I mean, I saw the originals that were non, filed in vu les the Gen Duoslang Genocide Museum, and many of my copies are copies de from de there, there. But those, generally mes speaking, sont des de cette from what I have seen, are not the ones Mais that are annotated. Ce qui est en the ma ones that are annotated come, to my knowledge, from a different location, not specifically or directly known to me, than those that were originally on file um, at the Duoslang Genocide Museum. Ce que ce sont des qui Just to make sure that I understand Donc, your answer. The, the réponse. The, uh, question. Pour um, être sûr de comprendre votre réponse. 15, 20 plus confessions. Une vingtaine de signature d'aveux portant to la Nunchia, signature alléguée de Nunchea. Donc, the la localisation des originaux de ces aveux-là, vous ne la connaissez pas. C'est bien cela? Now, thinking about it again. À réflexion, if I recall correctly, et si je me souviens bien, the, on the case file, dans le there dossier, are color scans il y a of des scans en couleur said documents. De um, ces documents. And my recollection is et that I did si je some me of those bien, color scans myself réalisé while certains de ces scans en couleur at the office of the co-investigating judges. Quand But in, on, on, the, on the grounds of DC Cam. So Mais sur les, dans les locaux de DC at the Cam, point in time when I did those color scans, à à the original, if I recall correctly, from which si I made the scans, bien, les originaux, were à partir desquels j'ai fait les scans, DC Cam. se trouvaient chez Doesn't DC Cam. Ça ne veut pas dire qu'ils étaient they stockés chez DC Cam. On me les a apportés dans une room, uh, 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 used a une scanner salle that was a photocopier to do the scans, and then they went back to wherever they came from. Et les sont ensuite repartis. Where that wherever is, I don't know. Là où on les stockait. Mais où, là où on les stockait, je ne sais pas. Question. Pourriez-vous dire were able to determine comment vous avez pu déterminer que ces aveux-là avaient une signature dessus Comment est-ce que vous avez pu déterminer que c'était des pièces d'origine et authentiques President, uh, witness, please hold on. The Monsieur prosecution, témoin, you may proceed. Instant, uh, it seems to me that's an expert Il opinion question. Que vous êtes en train de demander I object. I, I, une opinion, I'm, un avis d'expert. Re um, when you la défense, je reformule. Saw lorsque those documents that were vous avez vu ces documents qui vous étaient remis, um, est-ce que vous avez um, in order to fait quoi que ce soit Come to some assessment of its authenticity. Pour vous permettre d'évaluer l'authenticité de ces pièces. No. Réponse non. I might, I might come back to this subject, uh, Mr. Head. Let me move on La to the next subject. Je reviendrai peut-être à cette question-là uh, plus tard. Autre question earlier, maintenant. Uh, in your testimony to a question of the prosecution. À une réponse que vous avez And that is the interview that you apparently had with K-Poc. Vu que vous avez eu avec K-Poc. Um, now, if I remember correctly, si je me souviens bien, um, this material on that on, uh, in the interview. L'entrevue. Uh, was was you were allowed to give that free once K-Pok had died. Et uh, I understand as well, des éléments you que vous pouviez utiliser um, après la mort de K-Pok. 
the Office of the Investigating Co-Investigating Judges. Vous avez offert uh, cela au bureau du juge co-juge d'instruction qui n'en a pas voulu. Ce matériau-là se trouve quelque part dans vos 75, 45, sorry, 45 armoires d'archives à Londres. Um, do you remember what was told to you vous um, de when you offered this specific ce qui vous a été dit lorsque vous avez offert ce, disons, ce témoignage-là de K-pop. Qu'est-ce que l'on vous a dit Preston, Le witness, please hold on. The prosecution, Jimmy Brissy. Témoin, attendez. Procureur, vous avez la parole. Mr. President, really, Monsieur it's a two, two-fold objection. J'ai une objection One double. One going back to the direction that concernant la direction, the trial chamber is not interested in what judges said or didn't say, or what OCIJ uh, said about material that was being given. Pour ce qui est de, de, de faire l'investigation sur again, just simply on relevance. Uh, ce qui intéressait ou n'intéressait pas à la cour à l'époque. Et deuxièmement, sur la pertinence. Not on the case uh, How does that la pertinence du jugement in concernant une pièce qui est ou n'est pas versé au dossier. Comment est-ce que cela peut aider maintenant à faire manifester uh, la vérité um, La défense, je cherche seulement M. Exactly le Président, à déterminer quel a été le sort du témoignage présumé de Kapok. On a beaucoup parlé des entrevues de Kyo Sampan et Yang Sari avec notre témoin. Il y a eu une entrevue avec Kapok, mais nous n'avons pas le transcript, contrairement aux entretiens de ce témoin avec différents autres personnages. Je cherche donc à déterminer ce qui s'est passé. Je cherche à savoir why, si le témoin uh, nobody to be sait in pourquoi this personne testimony. au tribunal ne s'est intéressé au témoignage de euh, Kapok. Président, je donne la parole au juge Lavergne pour répondre aux objections qui viennent d'être évoquées. Monsieur le juge Lavergne, vous avez la parole. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. La Chambre tient à observer que l'interview The K-POC interview est un élément de preuve qui is est an element of evidence elle. which is Donc, been un élément placed on the file. So this uh, element will be considered. The question is why wasn't this element placed on the case file during the investigation? Well, this question does not seem relevant. So we should move on to another topic. With, with all respect, I didn't ask anything about placing on the case file, but I'll, I'll move on and, and ask the question more specifically. Parler de la pertinence uh, de mettre ou non, de verser ou non au dossier. Enfin bon. Um, Passons à une autre question. Document E. Le document E. One nine zero point one point three nine eight. Un point neuf trois huit. Number zero zero six six one four five nine. Un quatre cinq neuf. And that is your footnote. Et là, je me réfère à votre... Il s'agit de votre article, euh, évaluation du rôle des, des hauts dirigeants. Et il y a là une note de bas de page. Les procureurs en ont déjà parlé. Vous y évoquez l'entretien que vous aviez eu avec K-POC. 
to this particular footnote. Um, sur cette même note de passage, and I quote from that footnote as follows. Je voudrais citer comme suit. <coughs> in an interview with the author on 22nd of February 2001 in Sindhut, Cambodia, Pok agreed to discuss evidence against himself and others on the condition that his remarks not be made public while he was alive. He conceded that as secretary of the CPK North, later Central Zone Committee, he had implemented a CPK policy of killing Khmer Republic officials, initiated the arrest, and ordered the execution of all alleged traitors among CPK members, subordinated to him, and followed orders from Nguyen to assist in the arrest of other alleged traitors in the CPK ranks whom he knew would be executed after interrogation by the CPK security service headquarters, S21 in Phnom Penh. Il, dont il savait qu'il serait exécuté um, après interrogation au service de sécurité du uh, centre AS21. In your pas. article seems to suggest that this Alors, is, um, de bas de page de votre at least in that particular footnote, the only evidence used by you là, to les seuls establish de a possible que vous ayez link jamais pour établir un lien um, a policy to kill une and the role of Nguyen Would that be a fair le rôle de Nguyen Chia summary of that footnote 14? Est-ce que cela résume correctement l'arrière-plan de votre note de bas de page Numéro 14. Witness, Président, la, les procureurs, vous avez la parole the next words talk about corroboration vous avez ensuite and in order for this question to be properly placed in context before Mr. Header, there needs to be reference in my respectful Hedder, submission to the next sentence and the word corroboration and identifying where the corroboration was from and whether the corroboration went to the element of the question. It's wrong to suggest to a witness that something is not corroborated when the next sentence talks about corroboration. I think this witness is perfectly capable of correcting me if I make a wrong suggestion when it comes to a footnote, Secondly, I would like to remind the chamber that when my learned friend was quoting extensively from a passage um, of an interview of Q. Sampan, um, he left out the very last sentence il de côté referring la to phrase, uh, East Zone Cadre Heng Samrin. So now to, um, to express a problem with me not Maintenant, quoting the complete footnote si seems to be um, quite odd, I might add. So uh, it is a footnote, it's about a footnote that this particular uh, witness wrote in an article, and I'm sure he's able to assist uh, the chamber uh, and the defense uh, in answering the question whether uh, the K-POC testimony was the only testimony relevant to a possible role of Nunchia. President, witness, you may now respond to the question put to you by the Defence Council. However, the Defence Council and other parties should all be reminded that names of other witnesses shall not be pronounced during your questions except the pseudonyms that have been used, Vos that have been allocated to those witnesses. And that is the general practice for the questioning time. If the witnesses bear their pseudonyms, please use the pseudonyms témoin. instead of Monsieur the actual names. Aussi le pseudonyme um, le nom sorry, du could you repeat the question? De of course. Um, I just read Certes. you uh, um, an extract from the footnote 14 of uh, respect of your article we assess it. Um, and my, my question uh, reformulated would be um, whether KPOC was in fact the only source for your um, 
que vous ayez utilisé for the paragraph in your article that there was a link between a policy and um, kill and target Lonol officials and soldiers and the role, the possible role of Nguyen Chia. Faire le lien donc entre cette politique là et le rôle de Nguyen Chia. Um, Réponse. I mean, the obvious answer is La that whatever is said above footnote 14 is based on whatever appears in footnote 14, um, which is not to say that there might be evidence elsewhere that's not included in the footnote that speaks to the same issue, um, which was left out of the footnote or which I was not in my possession at the time the piece was written. But yes, of course. I'd be happy for Donc, your memory oui, to, to read um, Donc, uh, the paragraph that this footnote défense. is referring to. Veuillez relire le uh, paragraph auquel fait référence cette note de bas de page. Mr. President, every time I put a footnote fois, to Mr. Header, he had the full document in front of him. Soumis une note de bas Can de page he please be shown Heder. full documents and not just have them put up on the screen? This pertinent. is important evidence, and in my respectful submission, Mr. Header should be given the courtesy of being given this document in hard copy so that he can follow the questions. I'd be happy to do that, um, Mr. President. La défense, avec plaisir. President, the President, court officer, could you deliver the document from the council for the witness examination? Um, again, I mean, I can only say that. Le témoin. Alors, encore une fois, je ne peux que. I must have considered this to use loosely the legal phrase, but only in an academic sense. Um, this was the best available evidence that I had at the time to substantiate the conclusion or the assertion that's contained in the, the sentence that ends with footnote four, number 14. Hence my question, if you remember, um, why nothing was done with your offer to, uh, to give that um, the transcript of that interview. But I will move on, Mr. President. Um, I'm Mindful of the time, I'm going to Je questions of methodology now. It is 10.30. I'd be happy to move on, but I am in your hands, Mr. President. It is 10.30. I am ready to move on, but I am in your hands, Mr. President. Mr. President, thank you, Council. Mr. President, thank you, Council. The time is appropriate for a short break. We will take a 20-minute break and return at 10 to 11. The debate will end at 10.50. Mr. Officer, could you assist the witness during the break and have him return to the courtroom at 10 to 11? Mr. President, thank you, Council. Mr. President, thank you, Council.